Yeah, now, this comes with aging. In U.S. alone, long-sightedness or presbyopia will affect some 90 million people by 2014. While eyeglasses and contact lenses can correct long-sightedness, many are opting for new surgical procedures like the multifocal lens implant in the eyes. And for a clearer picture, we'll speak now to Dr. Julian Thing, Medical Director of the Eagle Eye Centre at Mount Alvernia Hospital in Singapore. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Hi, good morning. Okay, before we jump into the details of the surgery itself, tell us what kind of physical changes occur in the eyes, especially as we start to grow older. Mm. Right. The eyeball is like the autofocus camera, and the lens in the eyes, which you can see in this eye model here, is like the autofocus component of the camera. Yeah. So when and you say auto, it just automatically um, adjusts itself mm -hmm. as uh, to the objects That's that you're looking right. at, right? In a normal eye, mm -hmm. our, when we look di in a, into the distance, our objects actually are well focused onto the retina, the nerve layer of the eye behind. And the lens isn't working when we're relaxed in looking into the distance. Mm -hmm. But as we bring objects closer to us, so this, this lens, retina? that's mm -hmm. right, this is the retina of the eye. That's the lens. And normal. this is the lens. When we bring objects close to us, this lens will start to focus, it changes in shape and allows us to see near objects very clearly. Right. Okay. So what happens as we get older? How is it that this, uh, this sort of autofocus feature deteriorates? Precisely. It's when we get older, this lens actually loses its elasticity, mm -hmm. gets harder and firmer, and it doesn't focus as well. So as that we, means it doesn't mm, move as easily exactly. as it did In before. fact, uh -huh. if we are a child, okay, we can focus up close, this close. All right? mm -hmm. And as we get older, say in teenage, our focusing ability get, allows us to see this close. Okay. And when you're in the 20s, further away, 30s, further away, and when we hit 40s, that starts to affect the comfortable reading distance we're right, used to. Right. And that's the cause of presbyopia. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so now the surgery that we're, that we're going to talk about, I mean, this basically means implanting a certain type of lens exactly. onto the eye, right? That's, that's because the lens malfun malfunctions as we get presbyopic, mm -hmm. and often it becomes cataractous as well. When there's a cataract, that means the lens becomes cloudy, all right? For example, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be transparent, all right, like this, but it becomes cloudy right. and it becomes uh, also less elastic. We are able to remove this lens, uh -huh. all right, and exchange it for a special lens implant. And uh, that's how we allow the person to see distance and near using special implants replacing so, this natural lens in the eye. What are you exactly doing? You have your natural lenses. Do you, that's right. Is it there or do you have that's to... We have to remove cut. it. The okay. surgical procedure involves actually just creating a small wound on the cornea. This uh -huh. is the cornea, all right. Just a small two to three millimeter uh -huh. wound, okay. all right, and we'll put a fine probe into the eye and we will actually aspirate and suck out the lens uh -huh. right, within our eye, preserving uh -huh. a little delicate bag that surrounds yeah. this lens. That bag stays in there. Okay. As we aspirate the contents of the lens, all right, then we can put a special implant into the eye that's folded through this small wound uh -huh. and it will sit in place here. And with this lens, it will help us focus distance and near. At the same time, as solving good the as problem those is good old days in your 20s and 30s? <laughs> Almost as good as. Yes, you could oh, wow. get 20, okay. 20, 6, 6 vision. It could still be obtained. And yet, the patient could actually even read N5, the smallest print. So, wait uh, a minute. You said you could almost get 20, 20 vision. So, this, how does this differ from LASIK? In that sense. Ah, LASIK is different. LASIK um, involves surgery onto the cornea. Mm -hmm. right. right? We actually create a thin flap on the cornea. Mm -hmm. All right? raise that flap and reshape the cornea by applying laser onto mm -hmm. the cornea and it's like incorporating our spectacle mm -hmm. and contact yeah. lens degrees into the cornea. I guess the difference degree. would be LASIK is not the problem of your lens. Your lens moves exactly. greatly okay. but it's just okay. the shape of your eyes and it doesn't Exactly, yeah. Presbyopia is due to our inability of our lens to focus for near. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any side effects or dangers of this? I mean, what's the... There uh, are some side effects which I've elaborated in my book, mm -hmm. right? And it's not perfect for everybody, but I've had excellent outcomes with this lens. In fact, on the way here, I've just mm -hmm. done three such surgeries this morning. And oh, okay. the uh, side effects could actually be night visual, uh -huh. glares and halos, but they're usually mild and usually improve over three to six months. And there are some particular peculiarities with this lens, such okay. that it's very suited for some and not for some others. And so the experience in knowing who will benefit from right. this lens is important. And you mentioned that you just did some surgeries this morning. It's barely yes. 9 o'clock. I mean, That's it right. sounds like they're really quick procedures. <coughs> well, not too long. I started at 7 a.m. this morning. Yeah. Okay. And, and if a procedure is smooth, it can just take within 10 minutes. But of course, you know, some cataract surgery can often okay. take longer. Yeah. If and the profiles of your uh, patients mm -hmm. who come uh, looking for this kind of procedure, men, women, I mean, all they're people of all ages. Mm. Everyone suffers from presbyopia. We can't right. escape that, you know. Mm -hmm. And all of us, as we hit 40, some a little.
mid later in the later 40s we will get presbyopia yeah. is it really unavoidable or are there ways to mm -hmm. prevent it yeah. like in our lifestyle right as in in the mechanism of the lens that's unavoidable everyone will have weakening focusing mm -hmm. abilities but there are ways that we can get around it you know delaying a presbyopia which i've highlighted in total in my book there are non-surgical methods you know uh -huh. simple things like contact lenses glasses yeah. concept of mono vision even lasik you know and as well as the surgical methods which are there are many uh, various options which yeah. i've already highlighted but what about simple you know you hear these stories about how you shouldn't or when your parents tell you don't read when it's too dark i mean do all these uh, eye exercises look out to the greenery look far yeah. look near and all these things do, do these things make a difference well i think in childhood it does you know because uh, yeah okay. because all these habits actually especially near work you know progressive uh, near work especially with the game boy and computers <laughs> that really increases our rate of myopia and that's what we strongly believe in and yeah. that's something that we can actually uh, mm -hmm. play around with and prevent okay. uh, right. progression of myopia mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. so we're gonna say we have to ask you about the cost as well give us an mm -hmm. idea as to how something like how much something like this would cost right maybe I could have uh, some lens yeah, models sure. to show you these these are special lenses okay with which have got multifocal uh, special rings on them yeah and these are called multifocal implants right. and because it has got more than one point of focus right in the past we used to use these uh, lenses with no rings on them you know and they only have oh. one point of focus in the eye yeah so and before we, we used to use this which is called the mono monofocal vision. lens right. monofocal. and this is a multifocal lens this is a typical lens you can catch that on air but there are like called rings restore here. from oh. the uh, company alcon yeah. and there are some areas various yeah. other uh, options as so well. these are the lenses that are implanted yeah and because the of the technology involved in the research put and i think each lens alone costs just over a thousand dollars and on right. top of the surgery which usually would cost in the range of two thousand plus to three thousand plus yeah that will be added onto this cost. Uh, Singapore dollars, of That's course. right. I just want to mention, dollars. I'm sure our viewers already know, but this is their large version. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a normal lens would only so, be about 13, 13 millimeters in size. And, and the texture okay. also of these lenses, I mean, we have something on mm. screen right now showing a bit of the procedure, but I just oh, want right. to ask you, the texture of the lenses that are going in, I mean, what kind of material? How, They're just how made of plastic, actually. Right. Yeah, we, we call them acrylic lenses, you know, uh -huh. PMME lenses. And you, what you see on screen right now is an example of the lens being folded into the eye okay. and to sit inside that transparent bag that we leave uh -huh. behind uh -huh. after the lens within uh -huh. is removed. Yeah. Then another question, I mean, presbyopia is long-sightedness where it comes with old age, right? And right. as you grow older, it gets worse and worse. So after the implant, if, uh, you know, if it gets worse, what happens? Right. I mean, that's, that, the... that's a good question. Uh -huh. Actually, you, as you can see, these lenses are multifocal, two points of focus, and we and they they come in varying powers. And that's how we, we measure the eye before surgery, and we know exactly what power to implant into the eye, and it can correct all the myopia that a person has, or or hyperopia, uh -huh. you know, and whether it's a thousand degrees or so, and it allows clear focus for distance. And yeah, without depending on our lens uh, muscle uh, power, etc. Okay. So it's independent of that. So actually, it should last forever. Oh. Yeah. But the eye will still go through its normal progression mm. of uh, as you age. age the, uh, I mean, uh -huh. you know. Yeah. Every other part of our eye could age, but this lens implant won't change, right. and it will always continue to provide that distance focus as well as a near okay. focus. And just as we end up, let me ask you: On average, how often is this procedure done here in Singapore? Well, it's relatively uh, newer in the mm -hmm. past two years, so not everyone does this mm -hmm. kind of procedure. But I, on average, I think I would probably be putting in about about 20 such uh, lenses in uh, in a month. Yeah, okay. Probably, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a new mm -hmm. option. Another option for all of us, mm -hmm. actually, uh, if you have a presbyopia or presbyopia, as we call it. All right, thanks a lot, Julian, Thank for coming you. in this Thank morning. Our guest this morning, Dr. Julian Ting, Medical Director of the Eagle Eye Centre at Mount Avernia Hospital. And he's also launching his latest book That's on right. presbyopia tomorrow. If you want to find mm. out more about the condition, well, you can check out your nearest bookstore. Mm, definitely give it a read if you, are, um, if you have any uh, intentions to do the procedure. Okay, be part of our show. Tell us your views about our various segments, what you like and what you would like to see more of. You can always email us at ptm at channelnewsasia.com. That's right. Just drop us a note. And if you can't see, increase the font. It might be easier, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're going to take off for a short break. Stay with us here on Primetime Morning. See you in a minute.